only on 10 News, gathering to remember. Horse trainers had lunch today commemorating the first anniversary of the Lilac Fire. Our 10 News reporter Cassie Carlisle was invited and tells us friendships blossomed out of tragedy. This is the first time they've been able to get together as an entire group and upstairs today. It was all about making new positive memories to replace those from last year. I knew that a lot of people would be thinking about it. I knew it would be in the community also. Over glasses of tea, horse trainers traded smiles and scars. Everybody come back and not try to forget, but try to go on in this life. Think about the horses that we did lose, the people who risked their lives. Honoring the heroes who rescued racehorses during the Lilac Fire one year ago today. They were very innocent in the fire. They didn't know what was happening, so they relied on us. Trainer Martine Bullock burned more than half of her body, eventually losing her leg as she fought for her babies. As the horses relied on them, they lean on each other today. It's really helped us overcome a lot of what we went through. Healing both inside and out. Get operation of the boats, the leaves and the heat, the eyes. And aching together over the fires up north. It really kind of shook me to my core that these people were, were having to go through the same pain and tragedy that we went through. It made deal to my eyes. And I wanted to go over there and help, but I said, what I could do in my wheelchair. Knowing a brighter day is on the horizon. In life, whatever happened to you, it's a lesson to teach to everybody. It happened for a purpose in life, and the people got touched by the fire. In Bonzel, Cassie Carlisle, 10 News. So emotional. Well, the barns that burned down at San Luis Rey have been rebuilt. Trainers say they're nicer, more open, and the sprinklers are being installed. They're hoping to be back in the barns by next year.